and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going in the kitchen to get some must needed cleaning done we just got finished cooking not too long ago and as you can see this kitchen is a mess so I'm just gonna go ahead in here and get some must needed cleaning done so this will be a cleaning motivation and if you like videos like this definitely don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit your notification bell so you can stay up to date with new videos I'll also be attacking my living room area which isn't that messy but I just want to make sure everything is put away and clean and then you'll see me also recycling some items I'll be doing some cleaning in the kitchen as far as like wiping out all appliances and the cabinets so go ahead and pull me up like you see me doing now on your TV or either your smartphone or your laptop put on some music and let's get up and go Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool most important things in my kitchen and keeping clean too is also the microwave it can sometimes go neglected so I made sure to go in here with some Dawn power wash this thing is amazing with taking up any grease stains or anything that you need to have cleaned up so at first I tried going in with some paper towel and some of the stains in here were just a little bit too hard to get up so I came in with my microfiber cloth and I just went in there with some Dawn power spray sprayed it and wiped it down and those things came up real easily and I was able to get it clean in no time 
And a lot of times, too, we neglect to clean underneath the microwave. A lot of times, food can get stuck underneath it. So I made sure to get underneath that microwave as well. At first glance, when I looked at my countertops, I was like, oh man, there's a lot of stuff to get done in here. And then once I started putting away items, I just realized that, hey, you know, this just needed to be put away in the rightful place. So that's what you see me doing now. And I'll also be throwing away some items. So that's all it took, is just putting everything back where it belonged. And then you'll see me coming later to wipe down these countertops and get some dishes done. kitchen and I'm getting things clean and put away hubby he has dealt right on in and helped me get some laundry done he washes the clothes and then he also fold and put them away so this has been a huge time saver in making sure that we get everything done and the next following week we can start it off on the right track try to keep it cool bending all the rules bending all the rules it gets colder but I hate being Whenever I'm in the kitchen cleaning, I like to leave my back door open. And luckily, my kitchen leads to my back door, my back patio. So I'm able to let all that fresh air in. And it smells absolutely amazing in here. It smells like really fresh without having to use those harsh chemicals or anything. So I like to leave the door open just as long as I'm able to see what's going on and let all those freshness come in. So right now I'm just recycling a couple of things in the kitchen, like some boxes. We are recyclers. And I'm just gonna put it on the back porch. I don't actually take it out myself. My husband helps me with that, and sometimes my kids help me with that, with taking it and making sure that it's recycled. Since I didn't have a whole lot of dishes to wash today, I just went ahead and washed them in the sink by hand. And I actually love doing this because I find it very gratifying when you wash dishes in the sink by hand. And of course, I'm using my Dime Power Wash. This thing is amazing in making sure that all grease is taken off all the dishes to make sure everything's clean. In the aftermath of us, I'm so sorry about the bitter
this Myers Lemon Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I purchased this from a TJ Maxx store not too long ago. It was like $4 and some change. I forgot exactly how much I paid for it, but I just remember it being really, really inexpensive. But it gives off such a powerful and just a great smell in your home. It's not overwhelming, but it just gives off this, this really nice natural scent that you really will enjoy in your home. So I'm gonna use it just to wipe down all of my countertops and also some of my appliances and go throughout the whole kitchen with this. I think the next time that I go to TJ Maxx though, I only picked up one bottle the first time. I'm gonna pick up a couple of bottles. That's how good this stuff is. And I'll also probably share it with my sisters too. I know that they will probably enjoy this in their home as well. You know, just share the love just a little bit here. But this stuff, I promise you guys, it's good. So if you ever see it in like a, your local TJ Maxx store, just try a bottle out and let me know how it turned out for you. You're going to love the way it makes your house smell. I don't think I got the chance to share this with you all, but... Currently, I'm taking some graduate classes. I just took one over this summer and I was able to pass it. Yay! Yay to me! I'm so excited because this is something I wanted to accomplish and I was able to do. And I was told on numerous occasions from different family members and friends like, Tawanda, if no one else celebrates you, you're definitely gonna celebrate yourself. And that is exactly what I do, guys. I celebrate myself regardless of what's going on. <laughs> but of course, my family and friends, they help celebrate me too. And I'm so appreciative of them. But uh, right now I'm taking some graduate classes. Uh, just took one over the summer and I'm taking one now currently. And I'll also be taking another class in November. As educators, we know that learning never stops. So we have to continue learning, you know, just to keep growing and going further in our career. Now, YouTube is something that I have really, really appreciate it in my life. I don't consider this as a job at all because I really love it. This is actually my outlet. I enjoy doing these videos. So I enjoy putting them up for you guys and just sharing it with you all. And I hope that you enjoy it as well. So going for it though, as women, as wives, as girlfriends, fiancés, life can get kind of hectic, you know, sometimes as women of the house. And a lot of times housework can go neglected and it's okay. You know, if the kitchen is not always clean, the living room is not always clean. As long as we get it done later, we'll be just fine. I, just, I guess I'm saying this to say that the house don't always need to be perfect. Your house is your house. Keep it the way you want to keep it. Do it the way you want to do it. And you'll just be just fine. In the crowd. I like to use hot water whenever I'm cleaning my floors. To me, it just provides an extra sense of cleanliness and making sure all that dirt is lifted up off of the floor. And while waiting on the water to get really hot, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down my cabinets. I do use Dawn Power Wash whenever I'm wiping down the cabinets, especially the ones over the stove. That Dawn Power Wash is gonna make sure any grease stains or anything that's up there that's stuck on those cabinets are taken down. So I like to go throughout my whole kitchen and use that Dawn Power Wash. This thing has been amazing in making sure that my cabinets stay white and clean throughout.
had to get a close up on this cabinet. I don't know what happened, but this one required a lot more attention. It had a little bit more grease buildup. And so I had to go in here with my scrubber along with that Dawn Power Wash. And guys, you can see as I'm talking now that this Dawn Power Wash went in there and took away all those stains and got this cabinet back looking like it's supposed to look like. Okay, this Dawn Power Wash is the truth. And then I came back in with my microfiber cloth just to kind of clean up any residue and it looked absolutely amazing afterwards. So I just now purchased this old cedar mop and I was just waiting to use it. So now is the perfect time to go ahead and put it to use. Um, let me give a disclaimer here. I am adding some water from my stove. The water is pretty hot. So I want to make sure that it cools down before actually putting it on the floor. I don't want to damage the floors at all. And what I did was just add a little bit of pine salt to the water just to make sure that I give my mopping water a good scent. So when I go in to mop the kitchen as well as the living room that um, the floors will stay you know nice and tidy and not get damaged at all by the hot water so i did wait till it cooled down just a little bit but i wanted it you know hot too just to make sure that any germs or anything was picked up off of the floor and it actually uh, worked out pretty well for me i like the mop. i like using it i can see myself using it in other areas in my house so i'm glad i tried it out i'm stuck underwater can't hold my breath to the living room area and this is our spot this is our place in our home where we like to just sit back chill and relax so after dinner in the kitchen we move on right to this place right here where we sit back relax and enjoy ourselves we can watch a movie together as a family and like i said before it's not too much to do in this area thankfully we don't really keep it too messy thankfully um the only thing there is to do is just kind of sweep a little bit and i'll do some mopping just to make sure that the floor is clean make sure the pillows are organized and there's a little little joke in the family where oh tawana like to keep a lot of pillows on her chairs yes i do like to keep a lot of pillows on my chairs because i think they're beautiful and when people come over they're like oh let me move these pillows out of the way but this is my thing i love to have pillows here especially during the holiday season 
especially for fall and Christmas. You can put your pillows on your chairs and just make them so decorative and people really enjoy them. I think they do, even though they joke about them. I think they really do enjoy the, the pillows, okay? Because I know I do. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm just going to do some light gentle sweeping here and do some mopping and just um, kind of just make sure the area is nice and tidy and clean. So before I retire for the night, I do like to mop my floors. I don't do this every night now. So sometimes when I'm in the mood, I'll go ahead and grab the mop and get the floors clean. And now a part of my motivation was trying out my new mop. This is a new one for me. I've seen a lot of people use it. So I was like, let me try it too. So I just ordered mine and it came in the mail and it did a fantastic job of cleaning the floors in the kitchen as well as the living room. So if you're interested in this mop, I'm gonna definitely leave a link for you in the description box below. Please click on it, order you one. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. This is gonna have your house feeling fresh, smelling fresh, and just nice and tidy. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember, if you're new here to the channel and if you have found this video inspiring or motivational, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date with new videos. Continue to take care of yourselves and also your families. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.